Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from InfoD.com, and I'm doing something special tonight. This is uh, the first InfoD Afterthoughts that I'm doing live, and generally Afterthoughts is for my Patreon people, but I'll be covering a good majority of it here on a Facebook Live. So I just want to say hi to um, everyone that's joining me already. You know, this was zero <laughs> heads up on this. So thank you for joining. Uh, Rockin' Larry Lockin, Teresa, Huey Duvichel, David, Angie, Michelle, Sandy, Joe Harkinreader from Oneonta, Connie, Marilyn, Omak. Lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Awesome. <laughs> Oneonta is in the house. Yes, indeed, Joe. Uh, upstate New York. <laughs> so I got a few things I want to cover here. And uh, yeah, the rest I'll be covering for um, my N5D Patreon people. Um, I've got some special things that I put aside just for them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of the afterthoughts right here on Facebook. Um, I just finished up a behind the scenes, which is another Patreon thing that I have. Um, I take you into the N5D headquarters and show you some of the personal stuff of me that I don't generally share in public. So tonight's um, N5D uh, behind the scenes is the N5D headquarters, uh, my meditation altar, and I do oracle card readings from five different decks specifically for my Patreon people. So um, if you're not part of the Patreon, N5D Patreon, jump on in. Uh, you'll find a link on N5D.com for that. Um, Jenny Byers Lane. Hi, Greg. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Jenny's really cool because she posts all this um, amazing information on uh, truther stuff. So if you're um, looking for truther information, she's really a great resource. Uh, hi to Liz and Yvonne, Mary, Cole, and <laughs> Greek, Susan, Deb Hutchinson, Jessica Harrison, lots of people here. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to be scrolling here, but um, okay. I think I'm caught up and uh, Another thing I want to tell you guys about too, this is really cool. Um, there's a, I'm gonna be on a Waves of Light cruise and that is from January 17th until the 21st in 2018. And it goes from Tampa to Cozumel. And um, you can get more information. I pinned the link here um, it's it's www.wavesoflight.org, and there's a bunch of people that will be um, speaking there. Uh, one of our N5D writers, Nicole Frolic, um, is, is one of the speakers, along with uh, Monica Benoir, Benoir, Marina Jacoby, Michael Black, Jessica Sanchez, Michelle Walling, Eric Rains, and myself. I'll be doing a uh, workshop there. So um, once again, that's the Waves of Light Cruise. And that's January 17th through the 21st going from Tampa to Cozumel. And uh, so go there. And uh, if you decide to join us, uh, make sure you use N5D as a referral. And uh, hopefully we see you on the ship. What I might do is bring my um, night vision goggles. I've done that before on cruises. So maybe we'll look for UFOs out in the Gulf of Mexico. And I also had a request to bring my guitar and my little portable speaker. Um, apparently, um, one of the people that will be attending is a singer. So um, we're going to do a little jamming. Uh, so it's going to be fun. So I hope that all of you can join us there on the Waves of Light cruise. And like I said, there's a link pinned to the top. So check that out. Um, also, if you haven't shared this video yet, what are you waiting for? Start sharing it. <laughs> um, also, one just a reminder, you know, if you're not getting or seeing N5D on your wall or on your newsfeed, 
it's because like many of you, we are shadow banned. And uh, the best way to get and receive N5D articles is to simply go to N5D and subscribe to either the daily or the weekly um, subscription. And that way you get N5D sent to your email news uh, email inbox either every day or every week, every Monday. So uh, do that and you won't miss a thing because I post every day. <laughs> I usually post multiple times. The chances are you're not seeing any of it. Okay. So on the solstice, you know, we had this big wave that came through last weekend. And let me show you this. This is an updated chart from the Schumann Resonance reading. And for some reason, Facebook won't let me post the link to this. But if you go to n5d.com and at the top, if you click on news, just the one word news and scroll down, you'll see a link that says, here's the latest Schumann Resonance reading. So just click that and you'll be able to get the most updated reading and that's where I get this from. So what we're looking at and because Russia is 11 hours ahead, um, today's the 22nd, this is the 21st. You see all these lines, it's like pop, 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 pop. these short intense waves are coming through and here's the 22nd and you see once again the short intense waves coming through and then bam, big wave. And then we got some smaller waves that are coming afterwards. So these waves that are coming through haven't stopped. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like pop, 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 rapid fire, um, short successive waves that are going through. So that's pretty exciting. So on the summer solstice, I ended up going to uh, the beach to do my walk of gratitude and my love bubble meditation. Um, and absolutely, it was a beautiful day to get out there and to ground minus the red tie that's going on here in Sarasota you know, it's kind of knocking people out but um yeah the, that was uh, that was awesome and so I'm walking back and um, I run into a friend of mine uh, Luciani Luciani um, who I met at Michelle's comp last conference here in Sarasota and uh, we ended up talking for you know three, four hours and it was a good day. So, you know, shout out to Luciani if you're watching and uh, thanks for the chat. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is an afterthought. So what I'm doing is um, basically I'm looking back and I went over the, the video, the last N5D Facebook live and there's inevitably always questions that I miss. So I'll be covering them and some comments that I'll be making at the end specifically for my Patreon people. But the questions that I miss, I'll be doing right here, right now. Um, and this is one of the comments too, um, because when, when Luciani and I were walking back, I was telling her about, like I mentioned in the last video, that I'm basically this kid magnet and children are just attracted to me and they just stare and they they look me in the eye and they just stare at me. A lot of them are now going like this. They're holding their hands out as if they want me to pick them up, a complete stranger, you know? And, you know, if it wasn't for, you know, our society being completely paranoid, hell yeah, I'd pick them all up, give them a big hug. But, uh, you know, I just smile at them or I'll say, hi, sweetie, or whatever, and wave at them and send them that love. And we exchange the codes with each other. And it's a, you know, it's a beautiful thing. I noticed that a lot of people, as I went back and looked at the comments um, from the last video I did, the N5D Facebook Live, that there were a lot of other people that, uh, you know, in this genre that are children magnets as well, you know. So there's something that these kids seeing us whether you know it's the light from our eyes our aura our energetic field uh something that they're they're picking up on and it, it's really cool to to see you know and not everybody is, is that way with children other people might have that kind of connection with animals 
you know, or plants even, you know, anything. But for me, it's, um, it's always been with children. My daughter's the same way. And, you know, that's why I ended up becoming a child and family therapist because of my passion for children. Okay, so I did get lots of confirmations, though, of other people, you know, that were chatting here on uh, the last Facebook that I did, Facebook Live. So a lot, of, a lot of people also, you know, another thing, too, is that a lot of people went through the weight gain inexplicably gaining weight for no reason whatsoever, you know, even though we're watching what we eat, we're eating healthy, not necessarily overeating or eating junk food, but a lot of people are putting weight on. And that will come in to one of the questions that I'll be answering. Um, but the first question comes from Debbie Porter. And she says, what about weed? Is it bad? Is it good? Um, well, how do I tactfully answer this? Um, personally, I don't do it, you know, myself. I did it. I did it for um, from 1973 until 1980, when I was 13 until I was 20. And then I quit. Um, but, you know, to each their own, you know, and I can't, you know, recommend something or not recommend it. You know, I, I want to be truthful and honest, but it all really depends on the legalities of it in your state. But um, go within for the answer on that one, because some people, you know, it's wonderful. It's a, it's, an, it's a tool of divination for some. And for others, you know, it could open up work fields that allow entities to come in. It could eventually lead to paranoia for some people. Um, but that, that being said, you know, personally, I think it should be legalized. Even if it was legalized, I probably still wouldn't smoke it a, a, again. But what I would do is I'd grow it and uh, I would make my own CBD oil and take that every day as a cancer preventative. Um, so, yeah, that kind of answered your question. But, you know, I can't really come out and say outright without sounding like, oh, I'm recommending go with in for the answer on that one. But I can't ans answer that honestly um, or verbally. Okay. Um, Carolyn Thrynan, I think that's how, I always get these names that are hard to pronounce. Um, she said, I feel at the end of this month, we will be able to manifest very fast and with more precision. I don't know. What do you feel? Also, after October. Uh, well, you know, it's interesting that, you know, some people are putting out a date. And you know me, I'm always skeptical of dates. Um, I think I have an article somewhere on in 5D about end and failed end time predictions. And there's dozens of them. Not that this is an end time prediction date, but the date that people are putting out is July 31st. And it was brought to my attention that if you add up the seven, the three, and the one for July 31st, it becomes 11. And the year 2018, two plus one plus eight is 11. So you got 11, 11 on July 31st. It all makes sense, but, you know, I have seen the event, I felt it, but I've never been given a date. I know that it's going to happen when that last grain of sand falls through the cosmic hourglass. Um, and we're getting really close, but to put a date on it, I, I can't do it, but, you know, that's what some people are saying. So not necessarily at the end of this month, but... Carolyn, but perhaps maybe by the end of next month and October, I don't know that, you know, that's another date that I've heard kicking around. You know, we always get this October surprise, it seems every year and who knows what that's going to lead to, but, you know, just take one day at a time and you know, tr just try to be the best version of yourself that you can be today and everything will fall into place. <laughs> <clears throat> Larry Locken says, you, sh you should be a student driver teacher with your wonderful love of driving in traffic. <laughs> yeah, being road rage. <laughs> yeah, I love, uh, 
I love traffic. So uh, moving on, we got a bunch of comments and I'm so grateful. Thank you everyone for making these comments about, I mentioned my age in the last video and I turned 58 in October. I'm 57 right now. And uh, Carolyn mentioned you look vibrantly healthy and youthful and fit, Greg. Thank you, Carolyn. And Debbie Porter asked, how old are you? Well, I just told you, I turned 58 in October. And Tracy Nozel, N-O-S-A-L, said, you look 20 years younger. What have you been doing? <laughs> well, um, eliminating stress and fear out of your life is really a, a good start. Um, grounding, meditating, um, and making the affirmations like what I do on my walk of gratitude, where I ask Creator, Source, Universe, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and Mother Earth, to help me with my DNA um, the, and the RNA, in, you know, to turn out, activate all the uh, codons in my RNA and to activate all past, current and future strands of DNA that are beneficial so I can heal myself and others and humanity's best interests. So, you know, that's, that's what I do, but, you know, to each person, you know, we're all trying to figure out how to crack the, the DNA code and that person that can do that, once somebody can turn on all the codons in their RNA or DNA, they can do anything. You know, you can make yourself invisible. You can wipe your hand in front of your face and look 30 years younger. If you're my age, of course, if you're 35, you don't want to look five, but <laughs> you could, if you wanted to, you could do anything. You could uh, teleport. You'd have every clear ability known to mankind. But the thing I would do is, and like I said, I've mentioned this before, but it's, and it's not in any specific order. I would lay my hands down on Mother Earth and hook my higher self up to every other higher self on this planet and ask them if they want healing for whatever it is that they need and heal everybody, heal the world instantaneously. And then, like I said, it's not necessarily in this order, it could be the other way around, but I would lay my hands once again on Mother Earth and uh, heal her, the air, water, and food supply of Mother Earth. And uh, it didn't matter which which order I, I, I did this on either, that I, that I will do this on, because all this can be done in less than a minute, two minutes tops. You know, you can heal the world and heal heal the planet if if you're that person that's able to, you know, turn on all the codons in your RNA. So that's what I do. And, you know, maybe that's part of um, staying semi-youthful <laughs> as I approach 60. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, Mia Valhalla said, why would I attract people that need healing? Has happened my whole life. Also, I'm a child and animal magnet. What's cool about being those kind of magnets? You know, there's something special about you when you are drawing in the children and the animals. Um, but attracting people that need healing, that's a great question. Um, sometimes, I don't know if you are a healer yourself, you didn't mention that. It would be important to know whether you, you do some form of healing like Reiki or Quantum Touch or, you know, even um, QHHT, any, any kind of um, alternative healing. Um, it seems that, you know, if nothing else, you were probably a uh, shaman or some kind of healer in a past life, and you still have these abilities, whether you're actively using them or not. So that's something you may want to look into, you know, go within and feel what kind of healing you did do in the past and maybe look into that as doing that something, that kind of thing right now. Start helping people. Scroll back for some of these comments. Um, 
Well, that's interesting. Uh, Jenny Byers Lane is saying, my personal experience, I tried connecting through the veil after smoking cannabis and it cut off my connection. It numbered my emotion. It numbed my emotions. Sensitives use it to not feel, uh oh, I'm losing it. It's going back. Like, oh, it's going out of sight. Oh, I can't see it now. It's gone. But uh, yeah, that's. Some people, you know, they have very, very positive reactions to uh, marijuana weed and other people um it does the exact opposite not everyone's the same i know that for example when i had adhd i was prescribed adderall and adderall is an amphetamine and for most people it would make them all jittery but for me i could take an, an adderall and go to bed an hour later, it did the exact opposite. So not everyone's the same. And uh, you know, it, that's one of the signs that, <laughs> you know, you're wired differently. I have an article about that on M5D, um, so something like 30 signs that show you that you're wired differently. And I know that if you're watching this, chances are you're wired differently as well. <laughs> you know, we're all in this boat together, but there's a lot of signs to look for. <laughs> Nikki's been blaming her weight gain on menopause. There might be some truth on that. Danny Ray is saying, is asking, have you seen New Earth? I've seen the event. Uh, I've envisioned the New Earth. But, um, and to me, it, they're almost tied in together, Danny. Um, what happened when I saw the event? I saw myself in a vision standing in front of myself and this white light in an instant floods the planet. And at that point in time, what you feel, what I felt and what everyone will feel is unconditional love to a magnitude you can't express in human words. And the example I like using is to imagine the thing or person that you love the most and multiply that by a million at least um, you, you can't you can't describe the love that you will feel when the event happens now i was immersed in this white light but i also had that feeling of that i could create anything in that instant including the new earth if i had to but um that that's what will happen when that white light when we get that solar flash or whatever you want to call it um, that's that's what's going to happen and it happens instantaneously um, as for the new earth, I, I kind of like what, oh, Alice, what, what Allison Co was saying that when you, when you meditate, uh, and to, to put like 25% of your time of meditation into envisioning the new earth, when you do that, uh, where, wherever you place your thoughts and intentions helps manifest that. So, um, I'm telling everyone right now that, you know, that's, that's an awesome idea. And if you, you'd like to try that and join in with us, um, help us bring this to a reality quicker, you know, the more the merrier. So if you want to do that, I highly encourage it. So. <laughs> you are streaming the light. Heck yeah. Thank you, Jenny. Jack is saying, I, oh gosh, I hope I don't lose this that quickly. I've had messages from two people that don't know each other that were, and there it goes. I didn't have a chance to see it and it's gone. That's how far behind I am. I see I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing comments on Adderall, which I talked about like five minutes ago. I'm way behind. I can't believe there's 90 people here right now without really telling anyone about it. <laughs> Okay. Tori says, I saw lightning beams shoot out of my hands. I was 21 and trying and not trying to learn about 5D Earth. That's fascinating. And it just came naturally. I wonder if that's a good thing. You know, get pissed off at somebody. Bam! <laughs> Back off. Or if you could send like that, like Tesla kind of plasma lightning and just 
engulf somebody in it and heal them instantly. That would be cool. Okay, I just have one more thing to cover, I believe, um, before I, I sign off and cover the rest of this on uh, Patreon. And, and it was just a comment by a couple people. Uh, Angela Scullin said, are you going to go on Shane's YouTube channel soon, Greg? Unbiased and on the fence. You guys would be fantastic. And Maria Mars said, I missed this live from the last in 5 d Facebook Live that I did, catching it after a party. Greg, you and Shane doing unbiased and on the fence together would be an awesome show. Uh, Shane, if you're watching, yeah, I, I, I still plan on getting in touch with you uh, about doing a show with you. I'd love to do a show with you, as well as, you know, Todd Medina, you mentioned uh, you'd like to have me on as a guest, and I would like to do that as well. Just waiting for the right time, <laughs> you know. Um, I do have a very busy schedule, um, and I'm an introvert too, so it, <laughs> it takes me a while to answer people when it, I get asked to do to do things like that. So, um, I guess in closing, I just want to remind you guys uh, about once again that Waves of Light uh, cruise that's coming up on January 17th through the 21st. All it takes is a small down payment to put on it to reserve your place on the cruise and uh like i said it goes from tampa to cozumel mexico and uh there's going to be a bunch of us on there nicole frolic monica benware marina jacoby michael black jessica sanchez michelle walling eric rains and myself will all be on the cruise and we'll be doing various speaking engagements and uh it's going to be a blast so i highly recommend that you check it out and that's at wavesoflight.org. And be sure that um, you check off. There's a drop-down menu. Um, be sure to mention uh, N5D referred you to that. So um, I'm going to be continuing this on, on uh, in private for my Patreon people. Got some more stuff that I'd like to talk to them about. Um, if you haven't joined up on Patreon, feel free to join in. Um, like I said, I will be, um, I say raffling, but it's not really raffling off. Whoever signs up on Patreon has a chance to win my, uh, titanium E-Force pendant. So if you're signed up on there, that's it. That's all it takes. And I'll be raffling that off, raffling, doing a drawing for it, however you want to say it, on July 7th. Uh, so that's coming up in a couple weeks. So I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I know it'll go to the perfect home. So I'm going to leave it off at that. I know it's, it has, it's, it's a relatively short video, it's half an hour, and I'll be picking up um, for my Patreon people from this point forward. So 